Ladies and gentlemen, hello. Welcome to the video. We're going to be taking a look at the 12T once more, and this is going to be the three mark game in the 12T, guys. We did a stream where um, I attempted to three mark this vehicle and it didn't go so well. It seems to me that whenever I try to three mark vehicles on stream, it doesn't go well, guys. And then shortly after, I end up three marking the tanks, and that was the case with this vehicle. But we went from about 88 or 89% on the mark. Um, the day before I streamed um, to about 92 or 90, I think it was 93%. So I had a really good session from 89 to 93%. Then we got on the stream, I played a while, got up to 94%, and then ended up going back, back down to 91% and some change on the mark. Shortly after that, well, I got off and my dad said, hey, you getting on tonight? And I said, sure, let's do it. And did a session with my dad and we went from 91 and some change on the mark up to 95.01% on the mark and got the three mark. From 91 to 95 guys in one night, in one small session after we had just played even more battles before that and couldn't even get to past 94 right and this is why i explain it to you guys in this way sometimes you're just going to have those sessions where nothing goes right and sometimes you're going to have those sessions where everything goes right and to me even still after playing this game for so many years and understanding that that's the case i still get discouraged and think i can play better guys truly i do and on the stream we didn't play that bad it just i couldn't get any damn spotting damage um it was ridiculous but anyway this is going to be the game that we actually threw mark this tank guys and guess what we're on mines you would think of all maps mines would not be the map where we're getting this and look we're two minutes into the game i'm at zero zero right now and i'm like this is going to be a garbage game and we're going to go back down and i shouldn't have been thinking that because um we were able to pull it out guys and just i have to say guys this the gun on this vehicle makes me want to scream and rip my hair out it is so inaccurate and i'm telling you like I don't care what the dispersion says, there are hidden values on this vehicle that Wargaming has put on this tank. It is so inaccurate, man, and um, holy crap, it's just whenever you take a shot in this tank, everything goes on the very edge of the reticle. It goes on the very edge of the reticle. So like you see the reticle here, everything goes, I swear, like every shot you take is like right on the very edge of the reticle. And I do run the reticle mod, so I think that's very much the case. Every shot is going to be within that reticle. but. The new reticle mod is pretty nice, guys, but like it's not making a tank any more accurate, right, at all. And you can see the shots we were taking there on the M4 or whatever it was, the Fury, um, same thing, I guess, in real life, um, in reality. And yeah, man, like the gun is just so, it's just derpy as all heck, man. It just doesn't, like, I don't know, guys, that shot was a little bad, but it just, like a lot of the shots just seem to not go into that, um middle area of the reticle and that's all i can say i swear these are like hidden values that wargaming just doesn't display um and everyone says that and i swear it's the truth man there are just hidden values because no matter what the dispersion is on certain vehicles guys you all know if you've played this game long enough that for instance canon and yagpanzer 0.26 dispersion that that tank will miss shots from 100 meters away sometimes um Gorilla 15, same thing, 0 0.21, 0 0.22, you can get that thing to. Um, smack a shot at the Stug here, and we're just trying to spot, guys. This is how you can be sneaky on mines, yet um, we spot the Su-100Y, and if this guy hit me, that would be a bad day, right? Um, I think he might be able to, if he had an AG loaded, he, I think he could actually one-shot me here. I'm not sure of that. Um, don't quote me on that or whatever, but I know that thing hits extremely hard, and I want to say um, that the HE could almost one-shot me. Um, um, and if not, it certainly could, right? Um, if it if it's if it's six thirty or something like that, um, then yeah, like it would be really close if it was a high roll. But whatever, man. Um, I'll take a look at it after this game because now I'm really really curious. But if someone knows, feel free to let me know, guys. Um, but anyway, this is how we're doing things here, guys. We're being really really sneaky, and we're gonna come up here and we're gonna take a couple shots at the SU-100Y here, and then I'm going to go for the Panzer because SU-100Y was trying to get, you know, go dark there, um, or I guess back out and 
not necessarily go dark because I'm sitting right here, but just trying to turn and not really give me that shot. So I decided to take the shot at the Jagdpanzer. We take one from the T-34-85 and my field tank goes and I'm like, man, this is going to be close. Like, I'm really, really close. And keep in mind, guys, this is not showing what the mark is at right now. Um, it's showing what the mark is at right now, not what it was during the game. So I always have to say this and tell you guys to always keep this in mind because it's, you know, it's confusing watching the replay. Because um, it's not going to show you the, the exact current value um, when I was playing this game. So, we're continuing to poke up here. This game is pretty close, and I'm like, I can do it. Like, this, I can literally turn the three-mark game, um, or turn mines into the three-mark game, I should say. And sure enough, guys, we were able to do that. But just look how careful I'm being here. I spot the OI, and I'm like, oh, crap, that's not good. <laughs> we don't want to get hit by this guy and, and you know our game prematurely so i'm gonna back away from this guy i'm trying to just get unspotted before i run away because i also don't want the oi to shoot me from the other side of the building and then i'm gonna back down and we're gonna try and refocus here see what other plays that i can make in this situation and we just have to be be certain that we don't get whacked by the su 100 y or the oi at this point because these, the these are the two vehicles that will end my game um but anyway guys going back to just talking about circumstances like do not get discouraged. I emphasize this to you all the time. Do not get discouraged. You'd be amazed um, by how bad one session can go and then how good the next session can be. Or maybe you have two bad sessions in a row and then out of nowhere, you're just going to get these really good sessions. That's how I was able to three mark my even 90, guys. I got in a session where I played like 10, 15 battles, whatever it was in the even 90, and every single game, I kid you not, was 3k or more combined. Consistent, consistent, consistent. 3k spotting, 3k spotting, 3k spotting, and then some were even um, you know, high in damage as well. And it just, everything just worked out, guys, right? Um, so, I really encourage you to not get discouraged. That's all I can say, um, especially with light tanks, and everyone does say this on stream to me as well, they're very team based so based on your um teammates that's how you're obviously going to get the uh, assist damage right if you have garbage teammates well you're not really going to have a good time um with spotting damage right so do keep that in mind as well we're able to clean up the t-34 or whatever that vehicle is the uh, fury guys and the oi here and now we're just going after Artie, and we are so close to this mark guys you wouldn't believe me it was like 94.9 something um, we come after the SU here, we rack him, oh my god, thank you, thank you RNG, like, thank you so much for that shot, and we're able to get 275, though I think I spotted this guy, so I think it would have been all the same anyway, and we got it, and I say in the chat here, yes, twice with exclamation points, because it was 95.0, it actually said 95.02 down here, but when I got back into the garage, it said 95.01, guys, and I'm like, bro, 95.01, like, you gotta be kidding me, man, um, technically 95.00 would count too, but usually when I threw mark tanks, for whatever reason, it's it's a few um, one like hundredths above 95%, right? And I'm just like, man, like that was really, really close, but we got it. Because I felt like, guys, at this point, if I didn't three mark it in this game, that it was going to go back down. Like it was just so consistent in going up and up and up and up and up. I'm like, like, this is a sign. Like, this is a sign from Wargaming saying, we apologize for the garbage session you had earlier. So here's here's rng um you know um and we're gonna give it to you so whatever man but that's it guys that's the game on mines and here's the end plates we uh got this little racking badge we three marked the vehicle i don't know what this is is this for killing like or i don't know guys i i'm terrible with all these badges in years i played this game years and i still don't know what the heck they're called and what they are there for but i'm sure you guys know 600 spotting damage pretty much guys 1522 damage four kills four module damage and that's about it guys um my dad also had a really good game in the jackson my dad my dad plays this tank the wolverine the m10 like my dad is really good in these damn american tds man he is a monster i'm telling you he's very very close to uh three marking the wolverine i think it went back down a little bit again but even the m10 man my dad is pulling like these 1000 damage plus games when i play with him um 
Maybe I'm helping him a little bit, but I'm telling you, like, my dad averages over, like, 2,000 W and 8 in these tanks. It's insane. And uh, his recent W and 8 is just through the roof. And um, I think he's found his... Um, what he excels in right guys and it's certainly those um mid-tier to like lower tier american tank destroyers man like he is a monster in these things so and i would consider the m10 even though it's french it's the premium but it's still like technically i guess american right um it's the m10 so you know everyone could correct me on this you know i, I i'm pretty sure it's the same vehicle just very very minor changes and i believe wargaming there's a guy in wargaming himself that has these youtube videos that talks about the differences on the tanks and um you it's called inside the, the chieftain's hatch i believe like it's really cool if you guys don't um follow him on youtube or subscribe to him on youtube go and sub and check out the content man just go like inside the chieftain's hatch it's so cool dude you learn all about the tanks and um yeah, it's awesome. It's just it's just good information, guys. Like very interesting information. Um, you know, if you're into tanks, right? Like you, I would think you guys are somewhat into tanks if you play this game. But it's just cool to see the real life versions of these vehicles, man. I don't know. I I love I love learning about all the the information and how the tanks performed in real life. Um, if the tanks even did exist like if they were built because there are a good amount of tanks in this game that only existed in blueprints also keep that in mind um but yeah just check it out guys it's pretty cool uh 18 shots fired 12 hits 11 pens you know 15 22 damage guys 600 assists i think we've seen everything we needed to see here but i can't emphasize to you enough i'm surprised that this three mark game was on minds of all maps like ladies and gentlemen minds of all maps could you believe that um to me this is the equivalent of three marking a light tank on like ensk or himmelsdorf or one of those maps airfield or something like that in fact i'm pretty sure i three marked the t71 da on airfield so maybe i should stop insulting airfield guys like maybe airfield is not that bad of a map and we just posted a video recently unless um i post this one first guys i might um but if i didn't and you're watching this the hawk 30 we did a 4k damage game on airfield so i think i'm done insulting airfield and maybe it's not that bad but let's be honest does anybody like airfield like i don't know man i hate that map <laughs> like you know i'm telling you i don't like who likes airfield dude it's just such a bad map but anyway guys i'm done with this video i hope you enjoyed um three marked we three marked the 12t and again consistency guys if you're looking at how to three mark like you're trying to figure out how the heck do these people three mark light tanks or three mark any vehicle consistency guys you have to be consistent don't make risky plays you know just try and be as safe as you can conserve your hp as much as you can um try and get early damage you know and stuff like that um early spotting damage early damage whatever um and just keep at it keep being consistent avoid the bad games guys it's those zero damage games or whatever that is just gonna absolutely destroy your mark so that's my advice to you hope you enjoyed the video guys i will catch you for the next one if you aren't sub to the channel please do so guys like three quarters of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed it would really really help me out if you guys like the content please it's free subscribe and it the video then these videos get recommended to more people like comment guys all the good stuff it helps me out a lot but it's also going to indirectly help out other people because again I, I do this for free guys i just put these videos out to help other people with world of tanks so i enjoy it man it's entertaining and i hope you're entertained as well take care guys i'll catch you for the next one bye